What is the latest from Watertown? Um, well, in the last hour, Tom, I have seen uh, the most massive buildup of uh, police and National Guard troops I've ever seen. And I've covered hurricanes and storms and uh, floods and blizzards and all kinds of other things. I've never seen anything like this. They've pressed the uh, MBTA buses into service to ferry policemen down here um, and policewomen. And um, a little while ago, there was a uh, convoy of armored National Guard Humvees that came by, and each one of them was filled with troops. So yeah, it's, it's amazing. Uh, Brian, the distinction for me in the last two hours is a police effort to expand this coverage from north of the Charles River, south of the Charles River, into Alston Brighton. For our world audience, could you describe Alston Brighton and why it is important that the police made that decision? Austin Brighton is a very heavy residential area with a lot of college apartments um, and a lot of, uh, uh, I'd say, working class families, but it's densely populated. It's a dense area, again, with, you know, the, the, the famous iconic uh, Massachusetts triple decker and, and all right. of those houses. So, you know, there's, that would thousands of places to hide. Brian, this is unfair. I'm not sure where the news flow is right now, but do we presume this suspect is in an automobile or SUV? Well, that, you know, he, he and his partner um, are believed, well, they, they carjacked a uh, Mercedes last night, and um, so that the possibility is that, they, you know, if the possibility is there, Tom, that they could have done it again, or he could have done it again because his partner is... Um, is uh, right. dead.